Labing apat na benepisyo ng guyabano at mga sakit na nagagamot nito. Una. Mayaman sa nutrients. Ang guyabano ay madaming taglay na bitamina, minerals at iba pang components nito. Ilan sa taglay nitong bitamina ay vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, vitamin E, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, vitamin B5, vitamin B6, vitamin B9 at choline. May taglay din itong minerals gaya ng calcium, magnesium, iron, zinc, protein, copper at selenium. Mayroon din itong omega-3 fatty acids, omega-6 fatty acids, dietary fiber, sodium at potassium na importante sa ating kalusugan. Ang guyabano ay may zero cholesterol. Pangalawa, panlaban sa cancer. Mayaman ang guyabano sa phytochemicals at antioxidants gaya ng vitamin C, vitamin E at vitamin A. Nakakatulong ito sa kabuuhang kalusugan at tumutulong din ito maiwasan o mapigilan ang ilang uri ng cancer. Gaya ng lung cancer, oral cavity cancer at colon cancer at iba pa. Ang pagkonsumo ng guyabano ay tumutulong na labanan ang free radicals na sumisira sa healthy cells na nagdudulot ng sakit lalo na ang cancer. Pangatlo. Nagpapalakas ng resistensya. Ang guyabano ay mayaman sa vitamin C, isa sa bitamina na importante sa pagpapalakas ng immune system. Tumutulong ito sa pagpapataas ng production ng white blood cells sa ating katawan. Ang mga ito ang tumutulong sa pagprotekta sa ating katawan laban sa mga masamang bakterya at viruses. Pang-apat, maiiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng anemia. Ang anemia ay ang sakit na may kakulangan sa iron o iron deficiency. Ang guyabano ay mayaman sa iron at ang pagkonsumo nito araw-araw ay nakakatulong maibigay ang kailangang iron ng ating katawan. Ang resulta nito ay nag-i-improve ang iron level ng ating bloodstream na tumutulong na maiwasan o mapigilan ang pagkakaroon ng anemia. Pang-lima, nag-i-improve ng kalusugan ng buto. Ang guyabano ay may taglay na calcium at vitamin K na mabuti sa kalusugan ng ating buto. Ang pagkakaroon ng sapat na calcium sa katawan ay nakakatulong maprotektahan ang ating buto sa pagrupok at sa mga sakit. Ang vitamin K naman ng guyabano ay tumutulong na maiwasan ang bone loss at mapigilan ang pagkakaroon ng osteoporosis. Pang-anim, nakakabawas ng blood pressure. Ang guyabano ay mayaman sa potassium. Ang potassium ang tumutulong upang mabawasan ang strain sa ating blood vessels at nakakapagbigay ng maayos na daloy ng dugo sa ating arteries. Importante ito sa ating katawan dahil ni-regulate nito ang balanse ng fluids, muscle contractions at nerve signals. Ang may high potassium diet ay nakakatulong sa pagbabawas ng blood pressure at water retention na nagpoprotekta laban sa stroke at maiwasan ang osteoporosis at kidney stones. Pangpito. nag improve ng digestive health. Ang guyabano ay mayaman sa unsoluble dietary fiber na nag improve ng digestive health. Dahil ang fiber ay tumutulong mag-promote ng maayos na bowel movements at nagpapataas ng produksyon ng bile juice na nakakatulong sa pagtunaw ng pagkain. Ang pagkakaroon ng sapat na fiber sa katawan ay nakakaiwas sa ilang problema sa digestion gaya ng constipation at diarrhea. Pangwalo, nakakaiwas sa osteoporosis. Mayaman sa vitamin K ang guyabano na malaking benepisyo sa ating katawan. Tumutulong ito maiwasan ang bone loss mineralization lalo na ang pagkakaroon ng osteoporosis. Pangsyam, nag improve ng cardiovascular health. Ang taglay na dietary fiber ng guyabano ay tumutulong mapababa ang cholesterol levels na mabuti sa ating cardiovascular health. Ayon sa pag-aaral, ang pagkonsumo ng pagkain na mayaman sa fiber araw-araw gaya ng guyabano ay nakakatulong mabawasan ang bad cholesterol level at nagpapataas ng good cholesterol level. Ang pagkontrol ng cholesterol level ay nakakatulong upang maiwasan ang iba't ibang cardiovascular diseases gaya ng heart attack. Pangsampu, mabuti sa kalusugan ng mata. Mayaman sa vitamin A at beta carotene ang guyabano na may malaking benepisyo sa kalusugan ng ating mata. Tumutulong ito na maiwasan ang pagkasira ng ating retina dahil sa taglay nitong antioxidants. Ang antioxidants ang lumalaban sa free radicals na nagdudulot ng pagkasira ng mga cells sa ating mata. Ang resulta nito ay maiiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng macular degeneration at iba pang sakit sa mata. Panglabing isa, may taglay na anti-inflammatory properties. Ang guyabano ay may mataas na amount ng amino acids na magandang pang-iwas sa inflammation. 
dahil sa mataas ang amino acids nito ay may mataas din na amount ng anti-inflammatory properties. Tumutulong ito na mabawasan ang inflammation sa balat, buto at iba pang bahagi ng katawan. Panglabing dalawa. nag improve ng kalusugan ng balat. Ang guyabano ay maganda sa kalusugan ng ating balat dahil may taglay itong mataas na antimicrobial at antiseptic properties. Ang mga ito ay tumutulong maiwasan o mapigil ang acne, oily skin, dermatitis at eczema kaya maganda sa pagpapanatili ng kalusugan ng balat. Panglabing tatlo. Naiiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng Alzheimer's disease. Dahil may mataas na amount ng vitamin K ang guyabano, may malaking benepisyo ito sa ating katawan. Isa sa benepisyo nito ay ang maiiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng problema sa utak gaya ng Alzheimer's disease. Nakakatulong din ito ma-improve ang ating brain function. Panglabing apat. Maraming taglay na antioxidants. Ang guyabano ay mayaman sa antioxidants tulad ng vitamin C, vitamin K, vitamin E at beta-carotene. Maganda ito sa kabuuhang kalusugan natin at nakakatulong maiwasan ang mga sakit gaya ng cancer. Moringa has become very popular in the past couple of years. People say it's good for bone health, you know, anemia and all sorts of diseases. But is it really that good? Okay, in today's video, I want to talk about 14 proven scientific-based benefits of Moringa and its uses. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to receive notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need an online appointment or quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com. I encourage you to stay till the end of the video where I'm going to reveal extra tips and video links related to this topic. Moringa is a plant that has been used for thousands of years by primitive cultures to help cure a wide range of diseases, but lately has received an incredible amount of attention by the medical community around the world, praising this plant for its health benefits and nutritional qualities. After careful analysis of the leaves, scientists have discovered that Moringa, for example, contains high amounts of protein, vitamin B6, vitamin C, iron, you know, iron, Vitamin A, beta carotene, phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, oh my god, it's full of minerals and vitamins. And what more can we ask for, right? So today, I want to talk about 14 proven Moringa health benefits and its uses. Number one, lowers blood sugar levels. High blood sugar levels can be a serious problem. In fact, it's the main characteristic of diabetes, okay? So over time, high blood sugar levels can you know, raise the risk of many serious health conditions like heart disease, kidney disease, poor blood circulation. This is why it's important to keep your blood sugar within a healthy limit and make sure that that happens. So several studies are now supporting the fact that Moringa helps lower blood sugar levels to a normal range. A small study of six people with diabetes found that adding 50 grams of Moringa leaves to a meal reduces the risk of blood sugar by 21%. Number two, reduces inflammation, okay? Inflammation is the body's natural response to infection or injury. And by the way, it's an essential protective mechanism the body has to defend itself. But you know, it can become a major health issue if it continues to show up over a long period of time. Sustained inflammation is linked to many chronic health problems, like for example, heart disease, cancer, you know, all sorts of other problems. And Moringa contains a compound called isothiocinate, okay, which is the main anti-inflammatory compound in Moringa, you know, in the pods and seeds also, and reduces inflammation when consumed daily. Number three, can lower cholesterol, okay? Having high cholesterol is linked to an increased risk, again, of heart disease. And there are many plant foods that can effectively reduce your cholesterol. For example, these are garlic, flax seeds, oats, you know, almonds. But Moringa is another useful tool for those who suffer from high cholesterol levels. Both animal and human-based studies have shown that Moringa oleifera, which is the scientific name, can have a similar cholesterol-lowering effect. Number four, balances hormones, okay? A 2014 study published in the Journal of Food and Science and Technology tested the effects of Moringa along with amaranth leaves, okay? And the results showed that supplementing with Moringa and amaranth cause significant increases in antioxidants with significant decreases in markers of oxidative stress. Researchers concluded that these plants have therapeutic potentials in helping prevent complications due to aging and natural hormone changes. Number five, birth control. Studies have shown that on top, of, you know, on top of regulating hormones, Moringa can increase sex drive, according to some studies. But although it's been used as a natural supplement to increase sex drive, it seems to help reduce rates of conceptions. Okay, so stay away from Moringa if you are trying to conceive. Number six, protects and nourishes the skin. Okay, Moringa contains natural antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral compounds that protect the skin from infections, okay? 
you can use Moringa for many common skin problems. For example, you can use it for uh, athletes, for you know, eliminating orders, uh, reducing inflammations associated with acne, fighting off gingivitis, and helping heal you know, insect bites, for example. You can apply Moringa oil directly to the skin as an astringent oil to kill off bacteria and help with fungal infections. Number seven, protects the brain, okay? Protects brain health. Moringa is a rich source of an amino acid called tryptophan, which is the precursor, the precursor to the feel-good hormone called serotonin. Okay, and Moringa is also rich in antioxidants and compounds that improve the thyroid health, which help fight off fatigue, depression, you know, low libido, uh, mood swings, and insomnia. You can take about five tablespoons of Moringa leaf uh, with your meals every day. Number eight, bone health, okay? Moringa also contains calcium and phosphorus, which help keep bones healthy and strong. And let's not forget that it also contains anti-inflammatory properties that can treat conditions such as arthritis and may also help you heal damaged bones. Number nine, asthma, okay? It has also been heard that Moringa may help reduce the severity of some asthma attack, attacks and protect us against bronchial constrictions, which a lot of people have bronchitis. It has also been shown to assist with better lung function and breathing overall. So if anyone is suffering from bronchitis or any other respiratory condition, we'll go ahead and have some. Number 10, digestive health, okay? Moringa's anti-inflammatory properties has been known in India uh, for treating stomach ulcers, liver disease, kidney damage, fungal and yeast infections, such as candida, digestive complaints, and infections. Okay, a common use of Moringa oil actually is helping in detoxifying the body of harmful substances like heavy metals and toxins. Number 11, urinary health, okay? Ayurveda medicine in India uses Moringa to aid in urinary health. It, it might also be capable of helping with, to fight off kidney stones, urinary tract infections, constipations, you know, fluid retentions, and edema. Number 12, antibacterial and antifungal. As I mentioned earlier, Moringa has an antibacterial and antifungal and well, actually antimicrobial property, okay? Moringa extracts, not, you know, not the common leaves, can combat infections caused by Salmonella, Rhizopius virus, and E. coli. Number 13, prevents cancer. Moringa contains compounds that suppress the development of cancer cells. The extract actually is wonderful um, to prevent cancer from developing or even doing a metastasis. Number 14, protects the liver. Okay, Moringa appears to protect the liver against damage caused by pharmaceutical drugs and can quicken its repair process. So if you're having a liver detox, you might consider taking Moringa as part of your treatment, okay? It's a, it's a very good option. Help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or an online appointment, visit drlandnevar.com. And right over here, I suggest you check out these other videos related to this topic. You will find valuable information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon. Hello po, hello po. Kumusta po kayo? Daan po kayo dito, daan po kayo dito. Libre po ang ating check-up. Libre po ang ating health and fitness, Zumba, Erotaichi, Meditation, Yoga, Pilates, at yung ating Meditation in Motion. Libre din po ang ating Bio Water, Bio Water para po sa inyong Calcium Enhancement Program, ang Hydrogenated Bio Water. Libre po dito, come and join us, join na po kayo, maging kabahagi kayo nitong ating Wellness Store Clinic ang rolling wellness store clinic para po ito sa inyong lahat and get the special benefit sa halagang 55 pesos 55 pesos meron ka ng ramen soup may sabaw may sabaw meron ka na rin burger ang burger the vegan burger at the health and fitness just only here sa ating rolling store wellness clinic halika na Halika na, tikman ang sarap. Lasarap, lasarap, lasarap.